The summary screen is the first screen you see when you sign up to Sage One Accounting. There are several different areas within the summary tab. From here you can easily access the areas you need to enter your company details and set up Sage One Accounting, or click one of the subsections to view your sales, purchases and detailed cash flow information. In the Getting Started tab you can set up your records such as your customers and suppliers. You can connect your bank account and you can also enter your opening balances to ensure your accounts are accurate going forward and then check your figures to make sure you have entered everything correctly. You can also set up your chart of accounts. From the sales tab you can see a graph that displays the net value of your sales from the last 30 days. But you can change the date range if you wish by changing the from and to dates in the boxes. You can also see the percentage and value of any outstanding sales invoices, as well as details of any invoices that are overdue. The percentage and value of your quotes is shown in the graph here. The top 5 customers list displays those customers that have purchased the highest value of goods from you in the last 30 days. And the top 5 debtors list shows those customers with the highest amount overdue. If you are VAT registered, the VAT box displays the VAT due so far in the current period and any VAT due on transactions dated in a previous period, but has not been included in a VAT return. If you are not VAT registered, this box will show zeros. In the Purchases tab, the graph shows the net value of your purchases in the last 30 days. But again, you can change the date range if you wish. As with the Sales tab, you can see the percentage and value of any purchase invoices due the details of any outstanding purchase invoices, and here you can see a breakdown of which nominal codes have been used in the last 30 days. You can also see the top 5 suppliers which you have purchased from. This is based on the highest value of goods purchased from your suppliers in the last 30 days, and the details of the purchase invoices with the highest amounts outstanding. The VAT box will show the same details as you find in the Sales tabs. To help you keep track of money coming in and out of your business, you can view a cash flow statement. You can view this for a specified date range for individual bank accounts. Here you can see the opening balance of your cash flow statement. This is the net value of your sales minus your purchases, less any liabilities. The cash flow in section shows you the amount of any customer receipts, supplier refunds, bank receipts, transfers and deposits that have gone into your bank. Cash flow out shows the value of any supplier payments, customer refunds, bank payments and transfers that have left your account. Your closing balance is the sum of cash flow in minus cash flow out. If there is any VAT liability due in this period, this is displayed in the liability to offset section. If your VAT is not due yet, Sage One Accounting will estimate how much VAT is due. The net balance section shows the closing balance minus any VAT liability or plus your VAT if you are owed VAT from HMRC. For you to make informed decisions about your business, you can use the cash flow forecast. This shows the same information as your cash flow statement, but also shows estimates of any receipts or payments due in the period based on the due dates on the invoices as well as estimates of any refunds based on the due dates on your credit notes. You can add any manual adjustments to account for any values that haven't been included. The summary screen on Sage One Accounting is there to give you an at-a-glance view of how your business is doing.